Now knockout text and affinity photo for arresting effects is really fun. Now it's a knockout idea. No matter how long you've been an affinity photo user, there are always new tips and tricks to learn. And I recently revisited a technique that has transformed the way I work in some areas. This method doesn't use any new tools and doesn't create any large overhead in layers or masks. In fact, it's simplicity itself. The feature is a layer blending option within the layer studio named Multiply. And it can be used to knock out the contents of a particular layer from the layers below. Read on to find out how this feature works and how I now use it as a replacement to layer masks or clipping masks in some design scenarios. And that's what it looks like. Well, that's one version of the finished object, and there are many others, of course. This document structure provides a great example of how the knockout feature works. You have a background photograph, a solid colour banner, and then a text element on top. And the goal is to punch out the text from the banner to allow the background photo to show through. And you can see on the right hand side that I've got, well, the original image, which I've locked and, and unselected. There's the duplicate image itself. Then there's a group made up of the rectangle and the text. And we'll show that, see those in detail in just a second. So, place your main image on the canvas and make a duplicate. Lock the original and deselect it. And you can see I've done that just there. Drag out a rectangle to the size you want and fill it with black. Black colour, yes, easy. Or any other colour that you may need, really. Now place the text onto that rectangle, making sure it's a large blocky text. In this case, I'm using Payton 1 at 225 points. And you can see I've got the art text and the rectangle in the two layers above the image there. The image is still hidden and that's okay. Set the text color to white. And in this case, I've called it Knockout. Group the two layers of the text and background rectangle, just for convenience really, and they're in one little group. Make sure you have the group selected and set the layer blend mode to multiply. Your image and layers should now look similar to this. Reposition the rectangle to suit your design and you can see that the um, tower there in Shanghai the TV tower is behind the sea of knockout and a few other buildings in place there whose names I forget but that's not the point there's your group at the top the image below them and the hidden reserved original image in the lower layer just three layers really Now, you can add grunge effects to further enhance your design, either in the text background, as I've got here, and you can see in the group I've got the knockout text, then the rectangle, and embedded in that, you drag it halfway, so the blue line's halfway, embedded in the rectangle is a um, Spooner Graphics halftone lines text, which has changed the black, pitch black of the... Um, background rectangle, if you like, to a grungy half-tone type of um, image. You can see the buildings and everything through that. It's not quite a black thing, but the word knockout is still clearly visible. There we go. I've changed it again, and I've put the um, half-tone lines into the word knockout. It's gone back black. But the text is knockout, but you can still see through it in a, in a pattern sort of way. Now, the lighter that pattern, the more of the background you're going to see. Now, that's the end of this little exercise. Short and sweet, just to give you some ideas. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. I love to think I'm helping others find new ideas. And don't forget to subscribe.